Hello Penny Pinchers, my name is Dayhan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. I hope you guys had a great three day weekend, but boy am I glad that the market is back. I didn't know what to do with myself and I bet you guys did too. So let's check out the three penny stocks to buy right now that are under $2 per share and are up over 100% in 2021. Now as always, stick around until the end of the video to find out which one of these is actually my favorite pick on the list. Now let's dive on in and check them on out. So the first cheap penny stock on the list is going to be Assertio Holdings Inc. So up around 200% for the year so far is Assertio Holdings Inc. As a pharmaceutical company, ASRT, stock has received a lot of attention recently. While it isn't working on any treatment for the coronavirus, the company has an extensive pipeline. Now this includes prescription drugs uh, for neurology, pain management, and inflammation. While no news came out on Tuesday, February 9th, the company has made some exciting announcements in the past few weeks. First, it announced the pricing of a $14 million registered direct offering only a week ago. The, this deal consists of roughly $22.6 million common shares for $0.62 cents per share. Assertio also announced another offering, this time for $34 million, which it closed last week. This larger round was done at $0.98 cents per share. With this, the company should have access to some needed capital for corporate purposes and the R&D of new and existing compounds. So right there, we just have, that's over $48 million right there that they raised in a matter of weeks just to, you know, have enough capital. They can put that into a lot of their research, which is amazing. We need liquidity. We need this for companies. Definitely need more money to do more research. This is something that's very positive. So more importantly, the company announced late in December that it will be engaging in a company-wide reconstructuring plan. This plan should help to reduce its total annual cost base by almost $45 million. Much of this redu reduction is due to their merger and synergies with Xyla which was announced several months ago. Now, Arthur Higgins, the chairman of Assertio, stated that to adapt to the current market environment and maximize shareholder value, we are refocusing and substantially reducing our operating footprint, which is expected to result in significant cost savings. Now, given recent changes in our product payer mix, as well as a continued near-term impact of the Rona pandemic, we believe that reconstructuring the business will allow us to continue to provide our differentiated products with these exciting announcements in mind, is ASRT on the list of penny stocks to buy or avoid right now? Let's check it on out, guys. So the ticker symbol, ASRT, Assertio Holdings. So this one was up about 4.59% on Friday before the market closed. And it was up about $0.05, cents, currently trading at $1.14. Now, if we take a look at this one, uh, it was trading you know, pretty consistently. Then we saw this huge sell-off here towards the end of November or beginning of November. It went from that $0.65 cents area all the way down to about $0.34 cents per share. But then we saw towards the end of 2020 and beginning of 2021, the stock you know, started to pick up a lot of volume out of nowhere. $0.36 cents per share volume was very nice. 8 million shares, 31 million shares were consistently trading between, you know, five and up to up here of a high of 86 million shares. The stock has went from 36 cents all the way up here to about a dollar 45. Meanwhile, they did all this capital raising that they had over what 45 million, like we stated. So the stock continued to move up as it did that. You know, share delusion is a big thing, and and that's something that you know can happen with these uh, penny stocks. But this one just keeps on roaring. I mean, from 36 cents all the way to like a dollar 40, that was a decent, you know, 300% gain or so, maybe a little bit higher. But we just see it keep going. And last week, obviously, it went from that 70 cents area all the way up there to highs of 145. So with this one, ASR. We're going to give it a price stamp, so price target of $2 per share for 2021. That is going to be our personal price target. You guys let me know in the comments below, what is your price target on Assertio Holdings? So this one's support level. We're going to have it previous resistance levels become new support levels. We always talk about that. So the previous uh, resistance here was around $1. So we're going to give this one a, a support level at around that $1. Hopefully, it can build a support there, consolidate if it pulls back to that level. If it does, consolidation, and then boom. We rock it back on up and continue to break through the 52-week highs and go on higher and higher and higher. I hope you guys like this one. Let me know in the comments. As always, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for viewing my content. So go ahead and smash that like button. Let's aim for 300 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. If you guys are interested in signing up for Weibo, get your two free stocks when you sign up today. Links are going to be in the description. If you guys want to sign up for our Patreon and and get exclusive content in our Discord chat for alerts. Go ahead and sign up for our Patreon as well. Leave a comment below what penny stocks are you trading in right now and what penny stocks have you been trading in the recent times. Now let's get into the rest of the video. Second penny stock trading under $2 is going to be Guardian Health Science Inc. So GHSI is another penny stock that we've discussed numerous times over the course of the past few months. In that time, investors have continued to show bullish sentiment 
for Guardian Health. Now, Guardian Health is a specialty health sciences company that works in a unique area of the health and wellness market. The company specializes in the research and production of medical foods and services. Now, these products are aimed at an ocular health market, and its pipelines of products are various medical foods such as the Lumega Z, Glucosetin, and more. GHSI products are an extensive range of testing and uh, diagnostic tools used in ocular si setting on the medical devices side. Now, a week ago, a few weeks ago, the company stated that it received product approval from the Malaysian National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agency, or NPRA. The company also announced that the Ho Wa Jendanid Berhade would be the exclusive distributor of the product in Malaysia. And then the CEO of Guardian stated that a key part of our strategy includes expansion into the foreign markets, either through licensing, supply and distribution agreements, or direct marketing opportunities. Now, additionally, this relationship with HWGB is important as it allows the company to develop new products that widen our scope in the term of health apl applications. It's always uh, interesting to find a biotech company working in a unique area of the market. Obviously, this comes with both pros and cons for investors, so be considerate of that. With this announcement, GHSI could be a, considered a penny stock to watch. You guys let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. But let's dive on in and deeper into this one. Ticker symbol GHIS. It was down about 4% on Friday at the close or about $0.05 cents per share. Currently trading at $1.10 per share. As we can see here, it traded pretty much throughout this $0.40 cents area for 2020. Then we saw a pullback towards the end of 2020 to about $0.20, cents, $0.15 cents per share. We consolidated it there. And then here... Towards the end of 2020, beginning of 2021, it's went from this 26 cents area all the way up here to highs of a dollar 20. So that's a pretty nice, you know, gain right there. About what another 300 plus percent, as we can see. Also in 2021, volume has definitely picked up. 224 million shares. Then here we saw, um, you know, even higher, 262 million shares. But right now we're trading between 10 and you know 10 and 100 million shares, depending on the day. Uh, but it is beautiful. We just see consolidating and continue to push on up higher and higher. Obviously, every time it hits a high, it pulls back down a little bit and then continues to go higher. So the lows are lower and the highs are higher, which is definitely something we like to see. Now we try to break through here through this one dollar resistance. Didn't happen. Bounced back all the way down here to the previous resistance level that we had last year and we build that as a new support then we broke out again pull back down broke out pull back down and now we're in a breakout cycle breaking through that previous 52 week high and hopefully continue to break through it and continue to make higher highs now on this one we're going to give it a price target of two dollars per share two dollars per share for ghsi for 2021 now let's see if it had you know if it has better news going through the rest of this year and if it's going to pass through that two dollar area or not let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this one and last but not least the third cheap penny stock under two dollars right now is going to be it's going to be molecular data inc so shares of molecular data were trading at around 80 cents at the beginning of 2021 since then the penny stock has skyrocketed roughly 125 percent as of friday's close one of the trends we've seen in the market recently is these for these Chinese penny stocks. Many of these companies have sparse detail and minimal amount of headlines, yet plenty have uh, taken off simply to molecular data stock. Now, the company itself focuses on China's chemical trading industry. This involves uh, everything from logistics, warehouse, and even financial solutions for customers. Molecular data offers its solutions through an e-commerce platform, MoleBase. The platform connects buyers and sellers in something similar to Amazon model. Now, the chemical supplier can des design and set up their online stores, manage products and inventory, and pr process orders and payments. Now, buyers can search for products, choose their supplier to place orders, and facilitate the transaction. Now, this might also include supply chain services, business intelligence services, or logistic and warehouse services. Now, molecular data has placed a focus on sustainability in the chemical industry. We've talked about the idea of ESG penny stock in the past. This centers around the companies that implement solutions that focus on environmental, social, and governance impacts on business, employees, and communities. At the end of December, the company gave an update. This includes a statement from uh, Dr. Dong Ling Cheng, founder of the company, about a recent award. Now, Molecular Data was awarded Best Project in China, practice for social in recognition of its exemplary work, and one of the three central factories in, in ascertaining the sustainability and societal impact of the business impact. But business investment, Molecular Data has been also included in the 2020 China ESG White Papers. Looking ahead, we will continue to promote an efficient, sustainable, and high-quality development of the chemical industry and remain focused on providing value to all stakeholders in the chemical space. Now, with ESG stocks becoming a more prominent interest of traders, will MKD be one of the top watch, uh, you know, penny stocks for 2021? Let's dive on in and check it out. 
MKD is the ticker symbol, molecular data. This one was booming on Friday, up 25.5%, or about 30 cents or 38 cents per share, currently trading at $1.87. So, you know, we're, we're doing pretty well. We're almost at that, at one of the resistance levels that we see right here, all right away. So straight away, we see that resistance level, which is going to be here, previous support around this uh, $2 level. If it can break through that $2 level, we have all the way until about $3 until we hit that next level. And then obviously about three and a half dollars until we reach close to the 52 week high and hit new resistance levels hopefully breaking through all the way to about four dollars per share so that's something we're gonna have to be looking forward to here we built up a support level around this one dollar level we broke out of it continue to go down all the way to about 80 cents then finally here towards the uh, about maybe two weeks ago we saw it go from 86 cents all the way up here to highs of a dollar 60 so about almost 100 percent gain right there on huge volume volume was over 131 million shares traded but as we can see right here volume right now is between you know three and ten million shares every single day and then some days we have this huge volume Volume that pops on up so like we said we have these certain price targets two dollars three dollars three dollars and a half and then the four dollar price target so we're going to give this one a price target of four dollars per share for the rest of 2021 let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about that one now as always out of the three picks i always have to pick one that i think is going to be my favorite pick on this list and in this one I think it's going to be Assertia Holdings. So Assertia Holdings Inc. is going to be my favorite pick out of these three. That is just my personal pick, obviously. That doesn't mean that you know you should trade it or that I'm trading it or anything. I'm just saying out of all the things that I saw, I, I like Assertia Holdings because they raised a lot of capital. They had the direct offering of what, uh, $44, $48 million right there in the past few weeks. So that's something that I look forward to because that means I have a lot of money for research and development. And that's something that I definitely look with these penny stocks. I want one that has plenty of liquidity to be able to do more research so assertia holdings is going to be my number one pick on this list if you guys made it this far into the video you guys would know that so always stick around until the end of the video to find out which of them is going to be my favorite pick on the list and as always guys if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoy this content i'm not a financial advisor this is just for educational purposes so before investing into any stocks especially penny stocks speak to your financial advisor make sure it aligns with your you know theory do your own due diligence as always if you guys want to sign up for weeble get your two free stocks when you sign up today links are going to be in the description description if you guys want to sign up for our patreon and get exclusive content to our discord links are going to be in the description for that leave a comment below what penny stocks you're trading right now smash that like button let's get 300 plus likes on this video subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye